Okay, here we see the water pump has been removed and new it's been cleaned up. New gasket glued on. I like to use a high tack gasket sealer on the part. And then uh, you don't use anything on the engine block. I don't care if the gasket sticks to the old part when it breaks. But it does save you from having to clean for hours the engine block and hard to reach places to make sure you get a good seal between your mating surfaces. Anyway, we got the water pump off. One of the things that was a big problem was that clamp that was holding that AC line right there. And now it's just a matter of uh, taking the timing cover off after we get the harmonic balancer off. To remove the harmonic balancer, you have to use a puller like this one here. And then after that, after I get that off, that will be attached with two bolts that come with the puller kit right to there. You take the bolt out, put this on, pull it off. And then it's just a matter of unbolting the cover and then doing a lot of cleanup. The most important part of this job is cleaning the surfaces, making sure you get as much material, gasket material, off the surface as possible. Does you know perfection would be great, not always possible, but you want to try and get it very, very, very clean. So you get a good sealing surface for when you go back together. Okay. Got the 21 millimeter socket size bolt broke loose on the crankshaft on the harmonic balancer and as you can see I stuck uh, two metric bolts not from my engine grade 8 and they're screwed in the holes enough to allow me to stick that pry bar in there to prevent the engine from turning over while I use my uh, long locking flex head snap on half inch drive ratchet with a 21 millimeter deep well socket now you don't have the socket's the most important thing. Uh, if you got a, and the bolts. Never use your engine hardware for tooling. Just get some bolts. Doesn't matter. Bolts are cheap. Engine parts can be expensive. Okay. And I'll come back when I get the pie pie shape puller or P sign puller or whatever you want to call it, steering wheel puller. Go has a million names, but they're reasonably cheap to buy anywhere. You don't have to have top of the line. All right. Now you see my pie shape puller down there. Yeah. It wouldn't quite reach in the hole, so you have to ad lib on this style. Work with what you got. I used the bolt, put it back into the crankshaft, and unscrewed it about one and a half turns, and then used my puller. When I couldn't pull no more, I stopped. I, you know, I'm not double wrenching and putting an extra long pry bar on a 9 16 wrench. When I can't pull it no more, I stop. I come back. I take the pie shape puller off, and I check the bolt. And, yes, it's tight. But I can loosen it with the socket, which tells me that the pulley's coming off. So I undo a few more threads on the crankshaft bolt, and then I put the puller back on and pull it off a little bit more. Slow and steady on this. You don't want to break anything. Well, it took a little while, but as you can see, the crankshaft pulley is off. I have it over here on my messy bench. I've cleaned it up already. And you see a slight groove in there. But they got a fix for that. You don't have to buy a new one as long as your new harmonic balancer, as long as your rubber is clean. And if you can see timing marks between the inner and outer parts of the harmonic balancer, and they're lined up, then you're okay. If not, now would be a great time to replace that if that rubber was dry rotted or cracked. Uh, anyway, getting back to the groove in the crankshaft ceiling area, they make a speedy sleeve. And they have this glue, and it says, uh oh, warning. This product contains a chemical which is known to the state of California to cause cancer. You know what that's telling you? If you use this stuff and you get it on your hand, don't go to California. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this chemical on both 
the speedy sleeve and the crankshaft around the top around the beginning and then I'm going to slowly push the two halves together if not then I'll use a seal driver which is made of aluminum or you could use a block of wood and light tapping with a small hammer and make sure that you come down even and steady and that will bottom out there and with that they give you that's a hardened surface so even if it does wear a groove in it you can always later on which I doubt you don't own the vehicle that long or live that long cut it off and put another one on plus it takes a slightly oversized seal but it all comes in a kit with the timing gasket set okay we'll come back after I'm done with that